Ugh, I miss Prince. <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way to get my lashes done. They need to be done so bad, like they're they're bad. It's been weeks. Um, but so I'm going to get a lash fill right now. And then I am going to probably head to Ulta. I have a few returns to make. Um, and I want to pick some stuff up. So that is the plan right now. Ooh. Okay, so I just got out of Ulta. Um, I went and got my lashes filled. They look so good. I always love when I get my lashes filled um, because I just feel like a new person. I'll add my girl's Instagram down below if you guys are in the area and interested. I highly recommend her. Um, she's great. She's amazing. So anyway, I just ran into Ulta because I had to return something. Um, and I ended up buying a couple things that I needed. I got... Um, another one of these physicians formulas super CC cream because they're amazing like this is so lightweight but it's got like really amazing coverage and it looks really really pretty on your skin so um, I get the light medium shade but I wear this pretty much for everyday makeup and then if I'm like going out um, like to dinner or to an event or something I'll put on like a more thicker fuller foundation but for everyday this is perfect it's beautiful so I picked up another one of those. I got this <laughs> just because I thought it was so cute. It's like this little like headband with bunny ears, like twisty bunny ears just to do my makeup. And if I take a shower and I'm not doing my hair, I can throw it on and I need to like wash my face or whatever. I don't know. I thought it was really cute and I kind of need it. So it was only five bucks. So I picked that up. Um, and then the last thing I got yeah, was the... Tarte Shape Tape because I have heard nothing but amazing things about this concealer and I need a new concealer and um, we'll see. We'll see how it is. I got the light neutral. All right, so now I am going to head to the post office and then I'm going to go to my mother-in-law's to pick up Cam because she's watching him for a little bit while I went out to run some errands. You're so cute. Okay, you guys, so I just got home. I'm so hungry, so I'm eating some um, Oikos Triple Zero Banana Cream Yogurt with a little bit of granola in it. I shouldn't really be eating granola because I'm not trying to eat many carbs, but whatever. I'm so hungry right now. Okay, so this really cute sweatshirt, it says Mama on it. It's a crew neck, and it's so cute and really, really soft, so I'm so excited for this. I love just, like, cozy sweatshirts, um, like, pretty much to wear every day, because that's, like, my, my uniform I wear. I'm not kidding. Like, leggings and a sweatshirt, like, hence what I'm wearing today, <laughs> is what I wear, like, every single day. So, this is from Thelma Dean, but her name is Jess, and she owns it, and I will leave, um, her website down below if you want to check out their stuff but she's really really cute stuff thank you so much Jess I cannot wait to start wearing my new sweatshirt Camden what did you do at Grammy's house today poo -poo. you poo pooed yeah you poo pooed in the potty I'm so proud of you honey did you go poo poo in the potty today at Grammy's mm. say poo poo, poo, -poo. <laughs> You're such a big boy. Are you going to be two next month? Mom. Yeah, you're going to be two. Can you say two? Five. One. Two. Two. Five. 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 <laughs> two. Five. Two. Three. Four. What are you doing? Five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Eight. Eight. What comes after eight? Five. No, nine. Eight, nine. Nine. <laughs> so yeah, Cam went potty at my mother-in-law's house um so I feel like that's the first step to trying to potty train again I've never really talked about what happened when I tried to potty train like 
a few months ago. I remember telling you guys when Cam was like 18 months old that I was going to start potty training. It was right before Thanksgiving and we tried for a full week and he was doing great. He had pooped a few times in his little potty. He peed like every single day in it and things were going really well. And then Thanksgiving came up and we went away for Thanksgiving like we do every year. And that kind of just messed things up. I don't know why, like now that I think about it, I don't know why I started potty training the week before Thanksgiving because I knew going on vacation would just be hard. So when we went on vacation, like everything just went back to how it used to be with Cam, you know, pooping in the diaper. And then once we got home, things were just like super busy around that time. I think like with the holidays coming up and everything. So it's like I never really followed through with full out potty training. And then I just like gave up when we went back to diapers completely. Although he knows what poop is. He knows what pee is. Like he tells me when he's got poop in his diaper. And he knows what the potty is. So he's like very familiar with everything. So hopefully it won't be too hard to get back into it. Um, and now that he's going to be two next month, I really just want to like get this over with and start full out potty training again. So I think we're going to start very soon and I'll keep you guys updated with everything. Are you going to dribble? <laughs> Show them how you can dribble, honey, in your Uggs. Oh yeah, this is his little game he plays over here. Go ahead. Don't let me stop you. Whoop. This isn't the phone. Oh my gosh. This isn't the phone filter. It's not Instagram story, honey. It's not Instagram story. This is my camera for YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, Tube. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. He said hi, Tube. Aww. Uh, hi, Tube. <laughs> that is the cutest thing in the world. Oh my gosh. You're so cute, sweetie. So I've had a bit of a sore throat these past couple nights, um, but really like only at nighttime while I'm sleeping. And I've had like a, a little cough, so I hope I'm not getting sick or coming down with like a cold or anything like that. But I'm going to make myself some tea. This is the Tivana Jade Citrus Mint. This is really good. You guys, I used like this big spoon to put the... <laughs> to put the tea in the water and I definitely think I used way too much. Like now I'm reading this and it says you put 1.5 to 2 teaspoons per 8 ounces of water. Whoops. That's definitely too much. So now I'm going to put a little bit of, should I put this or honey? I'll probably put honey. I feel like honey is really good for sore throats. I know I have honey, right? Oh, oh no. I only have this honey. Can you put spreadable pure honey in tea? Cam? That's a lot of honey. Oh my god. Whatever. And then he eats a pop tart. Okay, now he goes to the palace. So he's walking and he goes to the garden. And what's this? Flowers. Yep, see, he's smelling the flowers. He's like, hmm, flowers. And then he comes here and they're having a big band. And what's that? Mm. Horses, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so then he's like, all right, that was a good trip to the palace. What is, what is this? Like, I noticed in some of my vlogs that my hair just like, I don't know, it's like obsessed with my cheeks or something. It just like, like, it's so weird looking. Oh my god. So weird looking. I should just like shave my sideburns. Would that look better? Alex always reads him some stories before bed, like especially where the wild things are. That's his favorite one. But um, I, you know how Alex doesn't like to be on camera, so I snuck the camera in just a little bit for for you guys to see because it was so cute. But I'm already so tired. My tea is now cold. Okay, you guys. So I figured I would show you what I'm just gonna make for dinner. It's super easy and really quick and. It actually tastes really amazing. So um, 
I am doing three chicken breasts and they're just covered in this honey sriracha barbecue sauce that I found at my grocery store. If you can find this, you need to try it. It's amazing. It's like sweet and spicy and like the best barbecue ever. So I literally just smothered the chicken breasts in the barbecue sauce on both sides. And then over here we just have sweet potatoes. I cut them long ways in half. I found this recipe online. I think it was like allrecipes.com or something. Um, but you just drizzle some olive oil on there. You put salt and pepper. So I just used ground Himalayan pink salt and black pepper. And then you're supposed to put Cajun seasoning. I don't have Cajun seasoning, so I kind of made up my own. I don't even know if this is right, you guys. But this is just cayenne pepper, which I love. And then I used some of this um, Creole seasoning. So I have no idea if that's Cajun at all, but I feel like it's similar. So you sprinkle that all over on both sides, and then you put them all face down. And then over here, I have been on an asparagus kick, you guys. I'm loving asparagus lately, especially when I can get them nice and crispy in the oven. So these, um, I pretty much just put some olive oil, salt, and pepper on these, and that's it. And then you're going to put everything in the oven. Um, usually I just stick like these two in at the same time because they take the longest on 400 for about 45 to 50 minutes. These are only in there for about 25. This is in there for like 45 to 50. So once I take these out, I stick the asparagus in because they only really need like 10 to 15 minutes and then they'll get nice and crispy. And that is everything for dinner. You guys need to try it. It is so yummy and it's healthy too. Well, maybe the barbecue sauce isn't, but I don't know, girls gotta eat, right? Okay, so here is my finished dinner. We have the asparagus, the sriracha barbecue chicken, and the spicy sweet potatoes. It looks so good. It smells even better. I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, guys, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog here for the night. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.